Hello friends, myself Gaurav Patak and I am working with SND College of Engineering and Research Center Yola as Assistant Professor. Today the topic on which we are focusing is belonging to the subject Engineering Thermodynamics and the name of the topic which are being seen today is a measurement and testing of IC engine. The engine performance is an indication of the degree of success of the engine performance and assigned task. That is conversion of chemical energy which contain into the fuel into the useful mechanical work. The performance of engine is evaluated on the basis of following things that is specific fuel consumption, brake mean effective pressure, specific power and specific weight, exhaust smoke and other emissions. The basic measurements to the undertaken on evaluated of performance of engine is almost test are followed. Speed, fuel consumption, air consumption, smoke density, brake horsepower, indicated horsepower and frictional horsepower. The, me the measurement of speed is one of the basic measurement of the speed and widely variety of speed measuring devices are available into the market. The range from the mechanical tachometer on digital triggered electrical tachometers. The best method of measuring the speed is to count the number of revolutions of the given time. This is an accurate measurement of the speed. The many engines are fitted with such revolutions counters and mechanical tachometers or electrical tachometers can also be used for measurement of speed. The fuel consumption measurement and fuel consumption is the given to the engine measured by the determining the volume of flow into the given time of interval and multiplying it by the specific gravity of fuel which should be measured occasionally to get an accurate value. The another method is to measure the time required for consumption of given mass of fuel. As already mentioned, the two basic types of fuel measured in this type, that is volumetric type and geometric type. The volumetric types are flow meter induced better methods and automatic butter flow into the turbine flow meter. The measurement of air consumption is in the IC engine, the satisfactory measurement of air which consumes and quite difficult because the flow is pulsating due to the cyclic nature of the engine and it becomes an air compressible fluid. Therefore, the simple method of using an orifice in the induction to the pipe is satisfactory since the reading will be pulsating. The various methods and meters are used to measurement of include which includes air box method and viscous flow meter. The brake power measurement is involved the determination of torque and angular speed of the engine output shaft. The torque measurement devices are called dynamometers and the dynamometers can be broadly classified in two main types that is power absorption dynamometer and transmission dynamometers. These dynamometers measures and absorbs the power output of the engine with the coupled and power is absorbed generally and dissipated with the heat of by some means while the examples of dynamometers are prony brakes, rope brake and hydraulic dynamometer. While as the transmission dynamometer or the dynamometer of the power is transmitted to the loaded couple of the engine and after it can be integrated on some type of scale, this is also called torque meter. In front of your screen, you may see the prony brake dynamometers, the whole of the power is absorbed, it is converted into heat and hence the, this type of dynamometer must be cooled the brake horsepower by the given formula Vp is equal to 2 pi nt where t is equal to w into l w into l but w <coughs> is being weighted applied at the radius the measurement of frictional power is the difference between the indicated power and the brake power output of the engine in the friction power. Almost invariably, the difference between the good engine and the bad engine is due to difference between their frictional losses. The frictional losses are ultimately 
dissipated to the cooling system as they appear in the form of frictional heat and this influences the cooling capacity required moreover lower friction means availability of more brake power hence the brake specific consumption is low the more test also carried out for carrying out these capacities for the brake power and indicated power the power developed in the cylinder is known as indicated horsepower and it is always designed into ip the ip of engine yet the particular running condition is obtained from the indicator diagram the indicator diagram on pv diagram is one of the cycle that down with the help of indicator fitted on the engine the construction and use of mechanical indicated power is already explained it is again explained here about the area of positive loop and negative loop which is measured with the help of plane meter and let this ap and an centimeter respectively are the area under the graph the centimeter is height multiplied by spring strain and gives the indicator mean effective pressure for the cycle the spring strain the spring used in the taking of pv diagram and area of positive loop taken of the spring is totally calculated with the finance formula ip is equal to pml the fuel consumption for the taking the consideration the two class vessels are 100 cc and 200 cc capacity are connected between the engine and the main fuel tank through the two or three cokes where one supply of the fuel in the engine other is being filtered the time for consumption of 100 to 2000 cc fuel measured with the help of stopwatch a small gas tube is attached to the main fuel tank as it is nothing but when the rate of measurement of vessel wall is to be closed then fuel consumption from the bottle the time is known as wall of fuel consumption can be measured with the formula xcc raised to 1000 per time that is measured into the seconds now what are the measurement by frictional power the frictional power includes the frictional losses and the pumping losses during the suction and exhaust flow the piston must move against the gaseous pressure and the power required to do this is called pumping losses the friction loss is made up of energy loss due to the frictional between the piston and cylinder walls the piston rings and cylinder walls are between the crankshaft and camshaft their bearing as well as by the loss of current by during the essential accessories such as water pump ignition unit etc the graph represented here is the manipulated method which are calculated with the help of graphical presentation that is the main drawback of the method for the long distance is to be explored data which is plotted of against the fuel consumption versus power and the plotted spot shows that while increasing on the speed of the vehicle that the losses are going on increasing point wise heat balance sheet is the one of the perforative action which is usually studied by the heat balance and the main components of the heat balance are heat equivalent effectiveness heat rejected heat carried away and unloaded losses the formulas for the heat supplied to the engine is only on the form of heat and this is given by qs is equal to mfx cv that is nothing but calorific value of the particular fuel a part of heat is lost by convection and radiation as well as due to the leakage of gases the parts of power developed inside the engine also used to run the accessories by the lubricating pump and camshaft water circulating pump these cannot be measured respectively so that it is known as the unaccounted losses this unaccounted heat energy is calculated by difference between total heat supplied and the sum of the losses between these two processes the result of abo calculations can be tabulated in the table and this is table is known as heat balance sheet this is about the fuel consumption and the total measurement and testing calculated into the ic engine we will see the another topic in new video thanks friend thank you very much